Hello, this is Roxana from the deliciouscuisine.com. Today we are going to make lentil rice with cranberries. This is a Persian style rice that is savory, a bit sweet, a bit tangy. It is delicious. We start with cooking the lentils with water and some salt. Bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and simmer until the lentils are well done but not mushy. The lentils should still have a bite to it and hold their shape. Next we make some homemade cranberries but you can totally use a store bought cranberries too. Add the honey and stir well to coat the cranberries. Spread the berries out on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for half an hour. Then let the baked cranberries rest for some hours and loosen them out using a fork. Then we make the orange rind. Peel very thin layers of organic orange rind and cut thin slivers of the rind. You may use grated orange zest instead of orange rind. Add water, bring it to a boil, lower the heat and simmer for about 10 minutes. And this is to remove the bitterness. Grate some carrots and then heat some oil at medium setting in a cooking pot. Add the sliced onions and sauté a few minutes. Then add the grated garlic and continue to sauté until the onions are light golden brown. Add the cooked lentils and stir it. Then add all the spices, the spice mix and the ground cumin. and turmeric some salt and pepper and stir all of that well and next add some cranberries shredded carrots and slivered orange rind or the zest just combine and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes to absorb the flavors then we make the saffron water Grind the saffron to a fine powder. Add some hot water and set it aside. Next, we make the rice. Add some oil and salt to the water in a rice cooker and bring it to a boil. And then add rice that has been rinsed very well. Cook the rice until all the water is just absorbed. but don't let the rice steam any further beyond this point then transfer the rice to another bowl and set it aside take some scoops of rice and combine with few drops of saffron water and keep it aside to use as garnish later on And if you would like to make the famous crunchy Persian rice crust then take some rice a few scoops of yogurt some saffron water and combine it all into a smooth and thick mixture add some oil to a cooking pot and now transfer the rice yogurt mixture to the pot and spread it out evenly in the bottom of the pot to make the rice crust layer and after this we start building the layers of rice and lentil mixture first gently scatter a layer of rice and then followed by a layer of lentil mixture
and continue to make many alternating layers of rice and lentils until you ease up, use up all of the lentils and rice that you have cooked. This Persian style rice is packed with flavor. It is savory, a bit sweet and a bit tangy and it is very healthy packed with plant protein, fiber, antioxidants and healthy fats. And now finally drizzle the saffron water all over the rice, cover with the lid and let it cook until steam builds up very well. And this may take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once the rice is ready, turn off the heat, gently and lightly mix the layers of the lentil rice, transfer the prepared rice on a serving platter and garnish with the saffron flavored rice that we prepared before, shredded carrots, orange rind, cranberries, pistachio slices and dates as you prefer. And by the way, this rice is also gluten free and you can make it vegan too if you skip the uh, yogurt that is used in the rice crust layer. And if you prepare the rice crust that may be served on the side, you can cut it into thin, um, in small slices and serve it as a side. And serve this cranberry rice with the yogurt salad. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.